For two fifty a gallon, and you think to yourself, "Hey, that's pretty cheap." The oil companies have us brainwashed, folks. But let's face it, we're all still paying a lot more than we'd like, and a lot more than many family budgets can handle. So the Saving Your Money team is at it again, back in the garage to test a gadget that the makers claim will improve your mileage by at least twenty-five percent. It's a hybrid that's going to have you shaking your head. You know, oil and water don't mix, but can gas and water work together to save you money? This is the fuel of the future, the energy source of the future. He's talking about something much cheaper and much easier to get than oil or gas. The secret ingredient? Water. Believe it or not, something safe enough to drink has enough firepower to boost your mileage. I'm going to show you that it is possible to take water and turn it into energy and actually make it explode. Hard to believe, right? Yeah, we thought so too. So the inventors of the AquaTune water injection system offered to fly into town so they could prove it. Their focus is the H in H2O. They claim their device separates hydrogen from distilled water that you can buy at any supermarket for about 70 cents a bottle. They say it happens when the water runs through their reactor and then the hydrogen ignites in the engine. The idea is you get a better burn and more miles to the gallon literally more bang for your buck. You use words like reactor, and we're, we're splitting water, and uh, uh, you know, it, it sounds almost kind of dangerous. It sounds like we're talking about a nuclear reactor here. What's the beauty of this is fully safe. You never have to worry about storing hydrogen. It, it, it produces it on demand. We bought the AquaTune system from their website and had it installed on this 2002 Ford. Mechanic McDonald Davis says he's installed over a dozen systems already. And says we should expect big things. I have seen, you know, customers came back, they were very happy. They have, it has increased the fuel mileage by 40%. 25%, 40%? They seem like incredible claims, especially since popular mechanics had some harsh words for the AquaTune system and other gas gadgets they tested. That installation was destined to fail. Everything that we say is a no no. They did. We're skeptics first. You made the trip out here. You're confident that we're going to see uh, an improvement in our mileage on this vehicle. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very confident in that. The AquaTune Plus cost 600 bucks, and the rest of the installation ran us another 400. The AquaTune inventors say you can do the installation yourself, but only if you've got some skills under the hood. You have to drill it and tap it, and then run uh, hoses to it. Since there isn't a lot of room under the hood, our windshield washer bottle had to double as our water supply. Once the system was installed, all we had to do, supposedly, was add water and go. This little box is hooked to our car's computer and tells us everything that's going on under the hood right now. And on this stretch of road, with the car on cruise control, we're getting over 40 miles to the gallon. That beats the 28 miles per gallon we were getting before we installed the AquaTune. We also got a boost in our city mileage from 17 up to 23. Both numbers are in line with the 25% increase in fuel economy the makers promised. Which means we can go so much further on one tank of gas, and we're ready for a long, cheap road trip. The AquaTune system can take some tweaking to get it dialed in just right, especially on cars with some miles on them. We talked to popular mechanics about their test and ours, and they stand by their assertion that the AquaTune and devices like it just don't work. AquaTune is continuing to develop their hydrogen on demand system, so it'll be interesting to see if it really becomes the energy source of the future. We want some more time to long term test this thing, but uh -huh. initial indications good. So many options now, yeah. which is actually nice considering the cost of gas. No doubt about Greece, it.